Yo, how's everybody doing? It's the Hawking Regime here, and today coming at you guys with another Madden Player Creation tutorial video. Today we're doing Vince Young of both the Texas Longhorns and the Tennessee Titans. Wasn't quite certain how I wanted to swing this one, but considering the fact that Vince Young just had a really more successful college career than professional career, a lot of the customization features that I add and implement into Vince Young's character on the screen is from his college days, so just keep that in mind when you are watching this video. But getting on into Vince Young, first off, I've made about over a hundred Madden player creation tutorial videos. Love the suggestions from everybody. And some people, you know, they, they just they want some players to come out really soon. And Sean Taylor's the guy that some people really want to come out. And I am gonna create him as recreate him at some point. I have created him before, but What's interesting is that when I looked at some of the guys I had made, I didn't make Vince Young, which to me is really odd for a couple reasons. The first one and primary reason is because he actually hasn't been in an Ultimate Team game or in Madden in the past couple of years. So that was really shocking to me. You know, a guy that just, you would think that he would have a college campus card that they released in Ultimate Team, that new program that they kind of implemented into, I believe, the second half of the ultimate team season i thought it was in the latter portions like the july june april type feel but i can't recall exactly maybe it was way before then i might be way off but wherever they whenever they release the campus hero guys vince young would be a guy that i would have up on that list and i think the issue is he just wasn't in the nfl as long as some of these other guys and didn't play as long so if you look at you know what he did in the nfl there was times where, you know, he obviously shined a lot and was a Pro Bowler twice. You know, he was a replacement, really, a replacement Pro Bowler for Phillip Rivers. But, you know, he did make it. So, uh, and only played in the NFL for, you know, six seasons. Started not even all six of those seasons. You know, didn't play 2008 very much at all. And, and, and won some good games, especially in 2009. It was probably his best moments, although his numbers may not have been the greatest with 10 touchdowns, 7 INTs in 10 games that he started was 8-2 and two in those games. That was what was really important that he's able to get wins for Tennessee. Played in one playoff game that he ended up losing. And in terms of rushing the football, his first year had his best year running the football in the NFL, 552 yards and 7 touchdowns, which was, which actually was then was a then record in terms of rushing yards. But it has you know since been surpassed by guys like RG3 and Cam Newton. So in the NFL, he obviously wasn't what a lot of people wanted to be, and there's several reasons for that. I think a lot of the reason goes to, or the, a lot of the blame, I should say, goes to Jeff Fisher as a head coach. Really not a great guy to have around you as a mentor, I guess, is for Vince Young. As we've seen, it just it didn't work out very well for Vince. He wasn't able to establish a great relationship with his head coach. And I think that's part of the reason why he just never was able to solidify a position. And offensively, it just didn't seem to fit him. I don't know how else to describe it. You guys can have, add your input in the comment section on why you think Vince Young's career failed in the NFL, but in college, he was an absolute monster and definitely was the captain of the ship. Kind of, the offense ran through him, and I, I guess kind of like how Cam Newton does in Carolina, they never were able to do that in Tennessee. I feel like the offense could have ran through Vince Young and been able to use his running ability in custom running plays like they do with Carolina. Uh, and, and just... I feel like it was just it was just the, sometimes you have coaches who don't implement the right system and don't put things together in the right way. In Carolina, I think they really were able to formulate a team around Cam Newton to help him out and take off the pressure from him, but also allow his talents to be utilized in the best way possible, which is running the football a lot of times with their quarterback and Vince Young, Cam Newton. They're big guys. They're six foot five, two hundred thirty pound guys, and in college. Vince Young did that to perfection. Now his final year in 2005 had over 3,000 passing yards, 26 TDs, 10 INTs, and over 65% completion percentage, which topped his career high. And then his last season, also in terms of running the football, 12 touchdowns and over 1,000 yards on the ground. And not almost 1,000 yards every single year that he played for Texas. Even his freshman year, had nearly 1,000 yards, 998 and 11 touchdowns. Had the highest average in terms of a Big 12 history from 1996 of yards per attempt, rushing yards per attempt, that is, which is pretty incredible at 6.8 <laughs> rushing yards per attempt. Just shows you how good he was and making making things happen on the run. And I, I really don't even need to talk about the 2006 National Championship game. That was incredible stuff from Vince Young. 
and he's going to go down as a legend in Longhorn history. His name will probably never be forgotten. So, getting on into the ratings for Vince Young, you see the 93 throwing power, the trucking looseness. I love doing the running statistics or ratings, I guess, for these players. It's really fun. And again, like I mentioned with the equipment, it is going to be based more on his Texas time. So, I did have the sleeves kind of tight. I feel like that represented more of how he looked, even though they weren't necessarily that high up on his shoulder. That's just kind of what I've seen. You have the double armbands, the wristbands on both hands, and then the Nike vintage cleats, which I think gives a really nice white shade to him because in Texas, he always had some nice white cleats and a clean white jersey look, especially obviously from the national championship game. So I wanted to kind of replicate that a little bit and obviously try to give a little bit of a nod to his time in Tennessee with the jersey and all the other equipment. But I actually think it turned out pretty good. I think actually even the face I chose is pretty close to what you would think Vince Young would look like in a video game universe. So all in all, pretty good. The ratings, again, primarily the throwing stats were slighted towards the throwing power, not the accuracy. But I'm actually going to show you guys some gameplay because I, I was just so into playing with Vince Young as a guy who goes to the University of Texas that you know I had to use him in game. And right here, running him, running with him is just, it's so much fun. And passing the ball with him, you know, catches your opponent off guard. With The problem with a guy that can run the ball like, like Vince Young is that people want to use him like Michael Vick all the time. And sometimes that's not the best thing to do. But it is so fun to use a running quarterback. And, and I gave Vince Young some pretty nice speed, but I think he deserves it. Because I did base some of his running stats on his Madden 07 card, I believe. So... It, you know, the speed might be a little bit much, but I think it's awesome. So using him right here, just showing you guys a little bit of some clips. A lot of fun to do this, to be honest with you. That's part of the reason why I like to do these uh, tutorial videos, because creating these players is so much fun to use, even if, even if it's just for fun and just messing around like this in practice mode. I just have I just enjoy it a lot. And again, I like doing research on these players and, and bringing it for you guys. So just showing you a little bit of gameplay. One of the weird things about Vince Young that, and somebody actually commented on this, is like maybe I should include some of the throwing motions that they have for quarterbacks. And I actually could look into that. Uh, the issue is I just don't know how accurate some of them would be. You know, some guys have uh, really different ones and really similar ones. So I may implement that. We will see in the future, though. But that will be the conclusion of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. You know, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Madden NFL 18 content, as well as obviously these player creation tutorials and the franchise episodes that I've been uploading. I'm going to continue to pump these out along with the college players and hopefully some professional players soon. Like I mentioned, Sean Taylor in the beginning of the video. That will probably go up. And also, if you want to check out a Texas Longhorn uniform of Vince Young, we'll have that link in the description. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And yep, thanks for watching.